for success. 22 years at the club, new three-year contract and £3 million spent on players counted for nothing. Even a miraculous win at Liverpool 10 days ago proved only a temporary case for the defence. A 3-0 home defeat by Coventry last Saturday left United second bottom and the board kept faith no longer. Tonight, Newcastle were already three down to third division Sheffield United. These fans were the real diehards. It's a manager who buys the players, manager who puts the team on the pitch. And the manager deserves to go. Well, good team, but the board should have won as well. They appointed them for three years and they should have gone with them. Clean break, get new men in, money into the club. I mean, we're the people, we pay the money every week. We should have a good save. Who would you like to see as a new manager? Well, there's only one. Cox. Arthur Cox. Many fans would like to see a new chairman too. The Magpie group of top local businessmen hope to force a change in the St James's Park hierarchy. Led by John Hall, they've been steadily buying up shares. I think the present chairman referred to it that we were trying to buy the family silver. Just look at the record. What's new? Nothing's new. That's why it's time for change. I challenge the chairman to tell the fans why, if their money's good enough, if it's clean enough to go through the stalls, why is it so dirty that we can't have any shares? It's an upstairs, downstairs situation. It isn't their silver. It's all our silver in the Northeast. I don't object um, to the um, uh, uh, fans or supporters being hostile towards me. Um, I've seen it before, and I'm prepared to put up with a fair amount of flap personally. But um, obviously, if the... Um, uh, hostility of the fans gets to the players and the players can't perform um, as one hopes they would and aren't producing the results then that upsets me because that affects the club as a whole all the players really needed to lift their sagging morale was an early goal the three to pull back young Michael O'Neill thought he chalked one off after just 12 minutes the day Bassett has obviously taught Sheffield everything they need to know about the offside game and there was plenty more of that to come as well in fact, it wasn't till just before half-time that a little gloom lifted for Newcastle. The sunshine skills of Mirandinha created the chance and a tidy finish from John Hendry, one of McFall's expensive close-season signings. Celebrating a goal really is more fun than chanting sack the board. Within 30 seconds of the restart, the fans were positively enjoying the night out. A crisp build-up and the ever-threatening Mirandinha showed the true goalscorer's composure to slot home Newcastle's second. Now it was a real game. There was to be no dramatic change in Newcastle fortunes yet. Mirandinha did his bit, but substitute John Robertson couldn't send the game into extra time. So, a triumph for the...